Hey guys, welcome back to the Let's Play of Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. First look. Hi, my name is Jerb, and we're back with my wizard and her quest to kill Maltheo. Alright, let's see where we left off. The last time we were here, I believe I was low 65. And so I went ahead and played other acts in Torment 1, 2, and 3 to get to level 70. And throughout that entire gruesome, long, gruesome process, I found a grand total of two legendaries. Alright, you probably only see one in my inventory right now. That's because the first one I found, I got a little bit carried away. I was like, wow, I found a legend legendary. And I went ahead and just ID'd it, and then it was a horrible, horrible item. I actually believe I still have it in my stash, so let's take a look at it. Aha, here it is. Alright, so let's, you know what? Let's ID the one that I still have un unidentified, and let's take a look at the one that I already ID'd. So the first one I got is called Steady Strikers. Never seen it before the patch. I'm not sure if it existed before the, the expansion, I mean. Uh, but look at those stats. It's like, what's the point, really? There's no base stat. There's no intelligence. No vita. Just a lot of armor and definitely a lot of life on hit. So that's pretty cool. But what am I going to do with the, with the drop in toughness? And 10% drop in damage, that's way too much to sacrifice just for the life on hit. So even though I like the life on hit, everything else is just not there for me. Code skills deal 15% uh, damage, that's pretty good. But look at mine, right now, the, the rare one that I have that I kept since level 60, it's it has that too, just 1% less, but everything else that I need. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the one I'm wearing now. And yeah, let's look at the one that I haven't ID'd yet. This is a two-hander legendary staff. Pretty interesting, pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and ID it. Hopefully it's decent. I I know that before the expansion, two-handers were just terrible. So let's, let's hope for good luck here. So first things first, we see a socket right away. So that's a good thing. Now let's look at the stats. Ooh, wow. 2,700 damage per second. That is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. A thousand intelligence? And it has a socket. So let's go ahead and... And put that socket, oops, excuse me, where is my stash, here it is. Let's go ahead and throw that socket in. Let's throw a, an emerald in there. An imperial emerald. Wow, we see a pretty big jump in in damage. Wow. Let's see how that translates overall. Wow, that is actually pretty, pretty good. That's a huge jump in toughness, huge jump in damage. I think this might be worth a change. Wow. But I never played with a a two-hander staff before. Not with the wizard. Not in the higher levels. I do lose a lot of life on hit. So that's a pretty big deal. Uh, you know what? I might just swap around. See which one is better off. I think the, the damage, the increase of damage and toughness might be worth it. But we'll take a look. The, heal, the healing is pretty low to begin with. So I'm not sure if it's a big deal if we lose on off on the healing. But we'll see. We'll probably test both of them. Let's put these steady strikers away. I've been keeping a lot of my legendaries, not everything I've been finding recently. You know, I, I really don't know what to do with it. I know there's a lot of new things that's happening with the game. There's a lot of things you have to find, a lot of things you have to craft. And I'm trying to figure it out slowly. I'm still reading on up on it and all that. So some of you guys might be ahead of me on that. I, I really don't know what's going on right now. I took a little break after the first video. And now I'm, I'm starting to catch up again. Uh, let's get back to it. And let's move on to the quest. The last part, I believe, we left off at Gideon's Row. That's right. We entered Gideon's Row and we're supposed to find a soul crucible. So we're going to go ahead and move on with that. I don't know. Mm. I'm jumping... I'm jumping around with this staff. Uh, I'll just keep it in my in my inventory for now. Maybe we'll use it later. All right, cool. All right, another thing that we didn't do last time was we didn't go through my my gear. So let's take a look at my gear. So we do have the new staff that's going to be part of our gear. Uh, we're, we might switch around with it and see how it does. So first off, let's look at the weapon. I have the barber. And I did not have this the last time I used the game. Uh, I did the Let's Play. Remember, I was using the Devil Tongue. Very awesome item. But I had a replacement. And so you guys are probably thinking, uh, doesn't this count as a legendary that you found? No, I didn't find it. One of my friends found it when we were playing together. And he didn't need it. So I was like, oh man, just give it to me. Perfect. 
Doesn't have a socket, but it still was a big increase from the Devil Tongue. As you can see, let's, let's look at the changes. Look at that all negative from the Devil Tongue. So nothing but awesome, awesome increases. Definitely go with the Barber. So with the Barber, we have offhand as Chantoto's Force, an old item uh, previously available about uh well before the expansion and it I really like this item. It was really good when when uh, critical mass wizards were were big because it has that spectral blade damage. You no, know, just a little bit increased, but it's still good. And I just sat there and tanked as a, uh as a CM Wiz, as most of you know if you played the the original about a few months ago before they took away crit critical mass. Those CM wizards, man, they just stood there and tanked everything. So that was fun. I still kept it around because it's still really good with all these stats, bonuses, and everything that it gives. Especially the critical hit grants, 10 arcane power, that APOC, man, that thing is buff. Alright, let's look at the, the legs, the feet. I have, again, an old item, Zunimasa's Trail. Uh, still good for now. I really want to kind of replace this combo I hear, the Zuni, Zuni Pox and the Zuni uh, Trail. Uh, I, I, I like the bonuses. The 130 intelligence is hard to get rid of right now, so we're kind of we're trying to keep it around for a little bit. But I definitely can't wait for an upgrade for those. So yeah, let's move on. We have Demon Scale, a crafting item that was released in uh, patch 2.0. Awesome. It's not that great. I like the two sockets. I use Depth Diggers. Uh, if you guys know what that is, it's, it was an item with a high intelligence, high vitality, and also all resist. But I replaced that with Depth Dig uh, Demon Scales. Because it gave me that two sockets, and I really like those. Let's look at the belt. Best in slot witching hour for for most of the the time in in Diablo three, about a year ago I believe when it got really strong, and they uh, redid this item and man can't can't really beat it right now. So I don't know if I'm gonna find a, a replacement for this anytime soon. I'm pretty sure this might be one of the last things I replace, but we'll see. All right, let's see. Let's look at ring, Zuni Pox ring. Uh, again, paired with my Zuni trails to get that 130 intelligence bonus. Very good, very, very uh, nice little uh, combo right there. Let's look at the other ring, a rare ring. I know you guys are probably thinking, why do you have a rare ring? Gosh, like, what kind of noob are you? But look at this ring, man. It's awesome. It has that 31 minimum damage. That's huge. I mean, it doesn't look like a lot, but when you add it all together, for some reason, it the DPS goes so much higher, and I love it. It has my base stat, not a lot. Vita, not a lot. Uh, RSS, okay amount, but the critical hit damage increased by 50%. That's max at that time. Critical hit uh, increased by 5%. Hit chance increased by 5%. 6, I believe, was the max, but 5 is still decent, so that's why I'm using it. Uh, I do plan to replace this, too, very soon, but we'll see. We'll take our time with it. Sage's Gesture for Hands, another crafting item that was released in 2.0. Really good, again, a lot of armor, a lot of vitality, a lot of intelligence. Awesome overall. Alright, we have our shoulders. This is actually a new item, as you see, required level 70. So I just found this uh, pretty recently, and I replaced it with, uh, I believe, another crafted shoulders, and and it just it was just better. So it was better overall. It doesn't have all resist, but that armor bonus is pretty cool. Reduce all resource costs by 5%. That's great because I use Arcane Orb. I use Frozen Orb. I use Black Hole. So those take uh, Arcane Power quite fast. and then So that helps out a little bit, but better than, better than nothing. And we have Mempo of Twilight. That's, again, another best in slot before the patch 2.0. This item was was what everyone was seeking for. And I got it. I had it for a while now. It's not the best again. I you know, you know, I try to do my best to get close to the best, and this is what I came up with. So we have a Mempo Twilight uh, attack speed increased by eight percent. The the best one has nine percent. The the max is nine percent, and critical hit chance increased by five point five percent. Six percent was the max. So I got pretty close. Our resist max is eighty. So I got to seventy nine. Uh, intelligence was 200. I got to 187. Close enough. 12% life. I, max was 12% life. So I got that at least. And we have the socket. Um, I believe that was uh, always given for Mempo Twilight. So nothing new. Pretty cool. I like it. Still using it. I know there's a lot of replacements for it. I'm, I'm trying to find one. Hopefully I find one soon. 
Amulet, another rare, not that great. Uh, I mean, rares aren't always great, but this one was pretty good at the time. Again, I got it a while ago. 237 intelligence. A uh, little buff to de uh, dexterity. Before they nerfed the dodge percent uh, chance that dexterity gave. Uh, before it gave about, I think, 10 times as much. So I had like a 17% dodge chance. Uh, and this contributed to it a lot. So... You know, it's only 120 dexterity, but, you know, for, for wizards, for non-dexterity characters, classes, that's pretty good. And the critical hit damage increased by 99%. 100% was the max. Critical hit chance increased by 9.5%. 10% was the max. So, pretty close. And a little 33 po poison resist, just in case, you know. A little poison floor, man. Especially the, this these uh, after the 2.0 patch, man, that floor got green quick. Sheesh, they have that new Bomberman-like little poison going in crisscross and all that. That's pretty cool, but I hate it. It's it, I think it's buffered in the, the plague pool. So, But yeah, there's a lot of poison going on. So, yeah, 33%, not, 33 poison resist. Not going to do a lot, but hey, better than nothing. So last but not least, I think we look at this already when we were comparing the wrist with the legendary wrist, uh, the steady strikers. And yeah, nothing, nothing too fancy. Pretty standard run of the mill wrists when uh when crafting got a lot better. So close skills deal uh fourteen percent more damage, great for frozen orb, three hundred eleven intelligence, two nineteen vita, great, great. Crow hit chance increased by six percent, six percent is max, and little secondaries there again, arcane and increased golden health pickup by two yards. Cool. Alright, that's my gear. I'm glad we went over that. Now you kinda know what I am going on with what I am using as my gear and hopefully it is you know it hopefully it, it works you know I don't want I'm gonna try to stick to torment one right now uh, but we'll see we'll see how it goes hey guys apologize for this little cut and I totally forgot to show you my chest piece that's how Rasha's relentless pursuit I'm sorry I, I kind of slipped there I kind of went in a circle so we started here and then we went over here and then we kind of went into a little circle and went over here a little bit. <laughs> I totally forgot this chess piece. So let's take a really quick look at it. 1 in 175 intelligence, 215 vitality. Decent for the Tal Rasha's uh, chess piece that was released a while ago. Send the all resist. It didn't come with all resist. So this was actually a bonus that I was looking for in my Tal Rasha's chess piece. And I found it. 70 all resist. Max is 80. Got close enough. And attack speed increased by 8%. Max was 9%. 3 sockets is a given. Attack speed given. And vitality and intelligence, I believe, was given. I'm not sure about vitality. It might might not have. But always this was the bonus I was looking for. Got that. So pretty happy. Just want to show you. And I just want to make sure I didn't want to miss any any of the gear. And then you, you guys would be like, what about your chest piece, man? Your your torso. Where is your torso? I can tell it's a Talrasha's, but come on. Hook it up with the stats. So now we have a look at it. You know, it was decent. Pretty decent, right? Uh, definitely looking for another replacement, of course. Yeah, so that's my gear. We looked through everything else. So, yeah, let's get it started. Let's go back to Gideon's Row. I think I'm a little behind, so I'm going to try to find Gideon's Row, start the next recording there, and then we'll go on from there. And let's go kill Malthael. Let's do it. Come on. Oh, little lag. Blizzard, help me out here. Don't lag me up right now. You can't lag up. I'm half lagged up.